Hello everybody and welcome to Eco. Now, I've been building this world up with Kevin and Will, so we're not starting from the beginning, but I wanted to make um, like a small video showing what this game really is. I got people asking me about, um, like they see me aren't playing it, but they don't really know what the game is and they read about it but they still they, no one wants to buy it put the money in to buy it they just wanna know what it looks like so I'm making this as kinda like a guide for people to see what the game is and um, I hope you guys enjoy and let's start out with the tour so what you're looking at right now is my house right now it is two floors I will be building it up to probably three floors because um, in this game there's a lot of machines and a lot of tables to place down it does kind of have that Minecraft feel to it, but it's more three-dimensional and like has physics to it that Minecraft doesn't. Like when you mine a piece of rock, it actually falls and doesn't just stay in place. Uh, trees fall over. Um, there's engineering techniques, so it's got that sort of actual real-life survival to it. Now this is a um, server that we're playing on to try to learn on everything how it works because we were just getting back into it and Will has never hadn't played the game before so he has it and he's been playing it and um, the real goal is to defeat the meteor but I have the meteor turned off because um, like I said this is kind of like a learning world type deal and uh, just playing it for fun more or less and not be dedicated because when you're even though when you're outside of the world the days still count and you usually have 30 to 60 days to defeat the meteor so if we play for like five days and then we take like a week off those those weekdays will be added to the score of 12 days and and it'll be like oh well now we're you know we lost some time here so you know that's the problem um, but anyways, let's uh, start with the tour. So, we've got my house. I just installed this windmill so it'll power a table in there. It'll be able to power other tables. And um, as Kevin calls it, it is, um, he calls it my mansion. He's like, you got the biggest house between myself and Will, so you have the mansion. And I titled it Rapture, and, and Will's like, well, it's not underwater. Well, I'm kind of obsessed with Bioshock which I just put out a Bioshock episode and I'm going to continue that series and um, a man chooses and a slave obeys that is a quote from Bioshock let's go into the first floor here on the first floor I know it's a little dark in here but lights are not easy to come by you can have a torch but then it costs even more materials to make the stand for it and it's just annoying and like this, this is a torch stand, and you gotta put a torch in it, and then you gotta put other torches just to make it burn longer, and they don't last long, so it's kind of just a pain to even have them. And nights don't really, nighttime doesn't really last long, it doesn't get like super, super dark out, so I mean, what's the sense of really having lights on? Save power. Start off with here, this is a Wainwright table, you get this kind of a little bit later in the game. Um, after you build all the other things and um, it's mainly for as you go into here it's mainly for um, making engineering techniques of construction of dirt ramps concrete roads you know iron wheels things like that part of like building and travel and um, you how you link things up is you go to storage and you can link it to um, different like storage chests and like things so that the table will be able to pull those items in to craft and put it back into a storage section so that's how that works so this is the Wainwright table um, these are just regular chests almost like what you see in Minecraft smaller storage but um, get by you know it's it's easy to work with and I have different ones like I have one labeled for I know we'll just go ahead and label this one for research because that's what it's mainly for is the research table and that one's for engineering as you can see 
and this is the carpentry table. This is a like a second level workshop bench because um, you can make things from the workshop bench, but this is mainly for wood. Um, so like you know furniture, chairs, um, a loom, you know different it crafts certain tables as well, a water wheel, windmill, a uh, bed, so you know, and then modules, don't worry about it. Modules are for like upgrading the table to make it work better. Uh, more advanced, way into the future type deal. And then, you know, we have the storage, and everything set up. This is a stone cutting table for cutting um, stone into stone blocks or uh, statues. Um, and it can make a couple certain like types of furniture like a stone bracer for light or um, it can make uh, stone chairs uh, stone in general for you to place down so you know the, each table is unique on its own this is the research for you to make research papers and research books and then when you get those you usually right click on the book and after it's made and then it gives you um, land claims and it also um, teaches you the skill so that you will learn um, that skill to be able to use. This is a tool bench typically for making tools and repairing tools. Like for instance, um, it's my machete kind of down. Oh yeah, my machete's dead so you put it in here and it costs rock to do it. And of course, you know, I can't make it because I don't have any rock out there so that's a really bad example. To repair it but can I do the can't do the shovel because I don't have wood so that's unfortunate but um because we've been building a lot here and making roads and stuff so uh, that's basically how that works this is another storage chest for the for the um, tool bench you know basic equipment this is how you were to uh, land claim and um, you have land claim papers to use and um, you originally start out with a campsite, and that's how you place it down, and that's how you build up. And they do have stores in this. I just hovered over it. This is a store you can place it down to like sell items, what have you, to other players. But here on um, on this server with Will and Kevin, we kind of like just we don't really sell anything. It's more or less the fact of I give authorization to Kevin, he gives authorization to me. I give authorization to Will, same for him, so we all can access things. By the way, of what you see, that is Kevin's house. I'll bring you guys down to Kevin's house so you can see it very shortly. Um, this is a butcher table. Almost forgot about the butcher table. You can butcher meat, animals here to get cloth, leather, um, fur, and, and meat, so that you can be able to cook it right here on the campfire. And you can cook and make things, so like, I can make this right now. I'll put it on the campfire and then you press work to basically it's just like saying hey I'm gonna you know put the work and effort in and then it just goes on itself it'll cook on its own and then I have this I have this one's for cooked food eat one of those to fill up our bar uh, this one's for the butchery this is for uh, vegetables and I have for charring because you can make charred mortar that'll be used to make um, stone, mortar stone, and this is another added chest because these two were this was overflowing, so I added a new another chest to help with that. Um, we're gonna go upstairs. I always get stuck there. This is a kiln for uh, making like charcoal and tallow stuff and things like that, bricks, you know, cooking, things like that. I'm, technically, I'm working on a bloomery right now, but we're having the problem of getting actual sand. So that is, you know, a problem. I need to make a rocker box. That needs to happen, because that'll help make the sand. Um, so that will solve that problem. And then the bloomery, that'll help us be able to cook, um, I believe, iron or into iron bars to process it into the bars so that we can actually use it for better tools. I have a loom here and that'll like turn items into cotton and fabric and like rugs and things like that. 
And then I have the tailoring bench that'll make clothes and cloth and other items. Um, there's some furniture in there as well. Uh, this is a mill it's used for, which I don't have the recipes right now, but it's used for basically milling of that nature. This is a fishery. It's used for when you fish so that you can clean the fish or, or cut it the right way to get the proper fish that you need to be able to cook on the campfire. This is a farming table. You can literally put any item in here that you can pick up off the ground and turn it into seeds so that you can regrow those items. So that's how that works. Um, and then I have the chest like you know designed for each item and this is a bed you can sleep in it. It's not like Minecraft though where it'll pass the day. It doesn't work like that. You can just sleep to gain a little bit of experience. Um, especially if you need to step like AFK away from you know and, and do whatever you need to do. So that is a um, that's a thing. Um, we're gonna go out this way to storage areas because I have like you know this is the storage that hooks up to some of those tables. This is a storage for uh, the, the mortar and the stone. This is the crushed stuff because you can get crushed um, different types of crushed stone and clay. This is also um, for iron ore that we can turn into iron processed iron bars. I have a wood cart that was something that you can make on the Wainwright table to be able to use to get around and travel. Um, mostly for an extra inventory. This is a road that we literally just made like two days ago. It took a, it was a huge pain in the ass. It took a while, but uh, with the help of Kevin, we were able to pull it off. And this this is going to eventually be turned into three wide. It's right now it's just two wide. Um, and I we had this down here as like basically like an outpost to be able to work with. And the road goes down there. It also goes down here. And then it comes around the corner to about here. This is what I finished last night actually, was putting this area together so I could get up here to which um, this road goes to Will's house and this way goes to Kevin's house. But we're gonna go this way first so you guys can see Kevin's house. Um, look at that, a floating turtle. That is so, it happens a couple of times but it's a very rare thing to see a floating turtle. This, I don't know what happened over here. Okay, it was a deer carcass. So it was clearly hunted by a wolf and then just left there because that's what they do for some reason. Um, this is a, just another stockpile. I'm trying to help Kevin finish this road area right here so that it'll be three wide. So, you know, that's the thing. But um, here's his original campsite that you first place down. And then he made, he's kind of like the wood guy. He makes all the hewn logs and everything. Because, I mean, look, he's like right on the forest. And I, I mainly do all the, the roads, the engineering. I do some of the wood, but not a lot of it. I do a lot of the researching. Oh, he finished the wall. Hey, so he actually has a room now. So for a while, this was open because... Um, he was using it as a mine. Let me see if I can open it. I can open it. Oh, he actually finished it off. So it was a mine. He had like expanded backwards and then turned it into um, a room, which is awesome. This is his. This is his house. It's basically all you need. That is a carpentry table, and the tool bench, and then the workbench, and then the workbench is. I don't know if I went over it, but the workbenches, this is all like the basics, all the basic items that you can make um, in this game. The stockpiles, the storage chests, all the basics. And so, um, oh, I, oh, because so when you, when you're tabbed out and the stupid thing likes to glitch so that when you tab back in, it, um, it automatically strikes that area. It's stupid. So Kevin, if you watch this, I'm sorry, but I did fix your door and... We're gonna continue on. Oh, he's making a second floor. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, so we're just gonna continue back down here. Uh, the, that was a storage 
because we just cut down a giant redwood tree, you see these big trees, those are the redwood ones, and those, they yield a lot of wood, as you can see. And we're going to go to Will's house. And he just struck iron last night. It was, we were, he, we were, we were convinced that iron didn't exist. We were trying to find it, and you just couldn't find it, and he mined a ton, and he eventually found it. And so here it is, the iron storage. And I mean that that's just two storages full of iron. So that that's eventually gonna get processed. And he has a ton of it. This is uh sandstone, and then there's limestone, and then there's regular stone, which is the granite, and the wood, and that's coal. The black is the dark coal, and then um so that's what we're currently working on. I'm going to go in Will's house. He's probably in here. No, he's not in here. He's totally not in here. Okay, whatever. So, um, he's got two workshops. I mean, benches because I mean, look at all the storages. And a tool table, a research table, and a campsite. Um, campfire, but I usually deliver him food anyways, so that's not a problem. I am kind of like the cooking guy there. I got all the food, so. Um, we're going to go in here because I want to show you that he did find an iron ore vein. And because of the multiplier that I put on this server, so that if you were to find an ore vein, it would multiply itself. There he goes, he just walked by. Um, it'll multiply itself so that you get a decent amount of ore out of it. And he first struck it, and here it was. And then he started mining into it a little bit more, and then found out that the whole entire thing went back pretty far. And it goes up here, and it also struck coal as well. So there's all this iron, and then there's all this coal as well. And I think I think that that was a great discovery, and I thank him so much. And this is the mess I made last night because I was mining a ton of iron, and that's what he's doing right now. And he's picking it all up and bringing it back. So we thank him for finding iron. Um, he was multitasking last night. He was playing eco and finding all the iron and mining it out while we were watching Rick and Morty. So that was really cool that he was able to accomplish that. And um, we're going to try and get out of this. And I always get lost in this corner because it always looks like you can jump up there. But we're going to get out of here. This was his mine. This is like all of his property. This is the ocean. Literally giant ocean area. Um, let me bring it up on the map for you guys. This is the map of our world. He's located here. That's my place. And then that's Kevin's place. And I originally wanted to locate over here, but when you it when you get over here and it looks like it's all flatland, it's definitely not all flatland. It's like all like cliff, sheer cliffs. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to build up here on this little mountain area. And it worked out. So I got to work on like clearing this out. So that I can put like more storage and stuff and up here and leveling it all up. So that's, you know, terraforming. And uh, yeah, there's so much world to be explored. Uh, you got to be careful with the animals because if you kill them, kill them all, it mostly they go extinct and you can't do that. So that's also another problem. So there's like real life um, criterias in this game. And this is this game is now like sponsored by educational um, groups, so that's that's really cool that they did that. And it, it has updated. Like I used to play it when it came out on beta, so and now it's updated, and now we're all up to date here. But it looks like Kevin and Will are on, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. Um, go back to my house. And this will all be cut out. So by the time you guys see, I will be back at my house. And here we are back at square one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Leave a like and a comment below on what you think. And if you guys enjoy this, then I'll continue the series. And I'll put a couple episodes out of what we do in here. and um, Or just different adventures that we go on. And we'll work from there. But, um, you know, thanks for supporting me, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!
Terminal.